Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today we're going to talk about what exactly it means for something to be a Nash equilibrium. And we've actually gone over this formally in the past. So a uh, formal definition of Nash equilibrium is that a Nash equilibrium is a set of strategies, one for each player, such that no player has incentive to change his or her strategy given what the other players are doing. That definition comes straight from my $1 textbook. The description or the information about that is in the video description. But what does that actually mean? I mean, that's a big block of words. It's pretty hard to break down. We've seen examples of what that means in the stag hunt where both players choosing to hunt a stag or both players choosing to hunt a rabbit is a Nash equilibrium. If you don't remember this, go check out the video on the stag hunt. But that still doesn't really give you a very great intuitive understanding of what Nash equilibrium is. And so in this video, we're gonna talk about that intuitively and, and look at an example from real life, from everyday life, where we actually see a Nash equilibrium being played by people every day. So. What does a Nash equilibrium mean? What did that formal definition mean? Well, another way of looking at Nash equilibrium is that a Nash equilibrium is a law that no one would want to break even in the absence of an effective police force. So take a, a new world and pretend in that world that the police did not exist. And suppose the government in this world passes a law. That law is a Nash equilibrium only if everyone would want to follow it. So if everyone's following this law, despite the fact that there's no punishment, no jail time, no fines, no anything of that sort, if they break that law, then that's going to be a Nash equilibrium because no one wants to break it. So how can we think about this in terms of the real world? Well, think about traffic. In some situations, following stoplights is a Nash equilibrium. So suppose two cars are driving at each other from perpendicular directions towards an intersection. The stoplight is red for one of them and green for the other. Now, imagine we're back into this, this supposed world where the police do not exist, or in this case, as I wrote right there, that the police do not ticket the drivers. Would anyone want to actually break the law, the law being that the person who has the red light stops and the person who has the green light goes? And the answer, as we're going to see in a second, is no, no one's going to want to break that law. So this is actually a Nash equilibrium. It's a Nash equilibrium to follow the stoplight. And we can verify this by looking at the matrix. And here it is right there on your screen. So both players can either choose to go or stop. And if they both go, then they crash into each other. And that's a really bad outcome for both of them. If they both stop, then it's sort of awkward because they're going to be sitting there waiting for the other one to go and trying to coordinate that. And it's a big mess. But if one of them goes and one of them stops, that's either of these two outcomes here, then the person who goes, in this case, player two goes, then she gets to her destination on time and in the fastest possible way. That's great for her. And while player one doesn't do as well because he has to stop and yield for player two, he at least immediately gets to go after player two goes. So it's fast for him. So that's the second best outcome. And it's the analogous up here too. It's just the strategies have been reversed. So let's find out if it's a Nash equilibrium for the players to follow what the stoplight tells them to do. And in this case, let's suppose that the stoplight is telling player one to go and player two to stop. So that would get us to this outcome here. Is this outcome a Nash equilibrium? And the answer is going to be yes. To see that, let's look at player two's uh, possible deviation. So currently player two is stopping. She could switch to going, but if she goes, she causes a car crash and that's bad for her. So she doesn't want to switch her strategy. So she's content with stopping if player one is going. And likewise, it's also the case that player one is not going to want to change his strategy. The reason is that he's currently going while player two is stopping. That's his best possible outcome. If he stops, well, it's unnecessary. He could be getting to his destination more quickly if he just goes and doesn't break. So there you go. He doesn't want to change his strategy. So neither one of these players wants to change their strategies. This is a Nash equilibrium. And for the same reason, this is also going to be a Nash equilibrium down here where player two is going and player one is stopping. So in that case, this is where player two has the green light and player one has the red light. And neither one of these guys is going to want to change their strategies because for the same reasons as before, just in reverse. So now player one here has the red light. If he goes, then he's going to crash into player two. So he doesn't want to go here. He's happy stopping. And right now player two is going while player one is stopping. That's her best outcome. If she were to, uh, to stop instead, then they're both stopping and they're in that awkward situation. So she doesn't want to stop. And therefore everyone is content right here. So they are content with following whatever the stoplight says, but note that they're also not content doing the opposite thing. So if, 
if they were to break whatever the stoplight is or, or not do what the stoplight says. So in this case, if they were to both go, so someone is going to be going while they have a red light, well, that's a bad outcome. Whoever uh, is, is at the, the red light could stop and do better. But also, whoever has the green light could also be stopping and doing better because they are currently crashing. Either one of them would want to stop in this case. And meanwhile, over here, if they're both stopping, so in this case, the person who has the green light is just stopping, well, either one of them could go and do better in that case. So these two things are not going to be Nash equilibria for obvious reasons, for intuitive reasons, things that you just naturally understand from driving around every day in your regular life. And in contrast, these two things here that we pre previously assessed, these two outcomes where one player goes and one player stops, those are Nash equilibria. In fact, they're the only pure strategy Nash equilibria of this game. So to wrap things up, to bring up this slide one more time, a Nash equilibrium intuitively is a law that no one would want to break even in the absence of an effective police force. So there's your intuitive definition. I hope this video helped your understanding of what a Nash equilibrium is, and we will continue to learn more about Nash equilibria in later videos. Thanks.